The Files Get Data option is very useful when you want to work with Excel spreadsheets or CSVs. The demonstration account that I'm logged in with currently contains no information. There's no workbooks, there's no dashboards, there's nothing. I'm going to use the Get Data Files option and Local Files to try two different techniques to work with data in an existing Excel spreadsheet. The two techniques I'm going to try are Import and Upload. The first technique I want to show you is Upload. This allows me to take an existing spreadsheet, not only including data, but also charts as well, and bring a copy of it into Power BI, ready to display on a dashboard. Rather than using the shortcut that I'm offered to access the workbook, I want to show you exactly where the workbook is actually available from. In the My Workspace area on the left of the screen, there's a section called Workbooks. If yours appears to be empty after an import, click on the workbooks heading, it will then expand, showing you the names of the workbooks. When I click on the name of the workbook, it opens in Excel Online within Power BI. I can move between both of the sheets that were in the original workbook. I can see not only the data, but also a pivot table and the chart. By selecting a region of data or an entire chart, I can then choose to pin whatever I've selected to a dashboard. At this point, I can either generate a brand new dashboard or I can pin to an existing dashboard. Rather than using the shortcut to access my new dashboard, again, I'm going to have a look on the bottom left corner of the page in my workspace. And then within here, I'm going to open up my dashboard. When I click onto the dashboard, I can see the pinned information. In this case, it's just a single chart, but I could repeat the process to pin lots of charts and lots of ranges of information onto a single dashboard. Let's try the pin process once more, this time onto the existing dashboard. If we return to our workbook, which again opens in Excel Online within Power BI, select a range this time rather than an entire chart and choose pin. This time I'm going to choose existing dashboard and OK and open the dashboard. The dashboard is starting to look a bit more useful. In our next example, we're going to try using the import option. We start off the same as before, get data and then local files, and we browse for the spreadsheet. This time, the workbook is not directly visible in Power BI. Instead, we get a data set, which is a simplified version of the data, including the words, numbers, dates, and times, but none of the charts. This is visible in my workspace as a data set. We also automatically receive a dashboard. When I go into the dashboard at first, it's completely empty. However, by clicking on the empty object in the dashboard, I can then tick to show the columns of information that I'm interested in. You can see that depending on which of these two techniques you use, the build experience is going to be quite different. In summary, use the Get Data Files option to work with simple files, such as Excel workbooks and CSV files. Depending on whether you import or upload will affect how you view the information within Power BI and what is automatically generated for you. This video is part of a series called Your Know How. Watch other videos in the series to learn more about Microsoft 365.